Irish, uh, Irish Flyer, um, did anyone get a weird noise when the X flare hit on Saturday? So, I was nowhere near a radio. Neither was so, I. Um, I, I, heard... I was up north. I was looking for. I was looking for the um, Northern Lights, but I did not catch them. The uh, solar storm slowed down. Actually, I was out camping that weekend. And um, I was fully expecting it to come Saturday evening. I had I had the GoPro set up for a time lapse and the whole nine yards. Uh, but um, Saturday, I heard some weird atmospheric noise on the on on the radio. But that I don't think that was fully attributed to the solar storm, because it really did not hit the Earth until Sunday morning around ten o'clock a.m. I was um, I was on the air Sunday morning between oh it was around. Um, 9 30, 10 o'clock, yeah, 40 meters. I was doing really good getting, um, you had nice, nice coverage, usually what you get on 40 meters. And then all of a sudden, just like you know, within one or two QSOs, the band just totally tanked. It's just, you could hear it just getting, every, you know, stations got quieter and quieter and it just totally buttoned up. <laughs> just sucked all the RF right out of the atmosphere. Yeah, so it wasn't so much a noise when it, when it hits, but what you get is that, especially on the lower bands, is that ionization, it just, it just the RF goes up, it hits the ionosphere, and it just goes, you know, just totally, totally flattens out, so... That's what I that's what I experienced. So you know, we had a second uh, CME coronal mass ejection pass through yesterday mm -hmm. into this morning, and there was actually some good aurora uh, in uh, northern Wisconsin last night. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, um, I yeah. think you know, as the sun really starts to get going again, we're going to get more and more of this stuff, guys. Yep. So um, you know, as you know, that's kind of the trade off of getting better propagation. We get more solar storms. Yeah, and that's what happens. I mean, the lower bands are going to die. So, and, and yeah, Roy says, yeah, 40 meters was dead this morning. Um, another one we had, um, yeah, dead on 20 and 40. Uh, Jerry, I think Jerry's down in Florida. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, and then, uh, yeah, somebody, uh, Bob asks, how does solar storms affect Envis versus regular antenna? Um, it's a good question. I, 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 I think for the most part, same thing is going to happen because Envis isn't a style of antenna, but it's a mode of uh, a type of operation uh, mm -hmm. with a, a, a very low antenna, an antenna that's very low to the ground. So most of your, your signal radiates up and then you want the ionosphere to bounce it back down, um, sort of rain down on a very uh, localized sort of geographic area. So if the um, ionosphere is highly ionized, you know, say from a solar storm or a coronal mass ejection, it's going to absorb, it's going to absorb the signal, you know, if it's going straight up or if it's trying, if it's trying to skip. So it's, mm -hmm. um, Travis, so, you've won a lot of nuts on HF in the past. Have you ever experienced anything like that while trying a uh, solar storm while trying to run a net on one of the lower bands, 40 or 80? Yes. Um, I would have to say, Basically, what Michael said is dead on. <clears throat> when that when it hits, the band fades, and you, you can tell the people that have power because they'll just turn the dial, and you, you can keep hearing them for a while. But even then, eventually, they disappear. Yeah, but yeah. It's on the low bands when that when it hits the eyes. It, it, like 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 Michael said earlier, it's just <clears throat> it's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so it's one of the unfortunate parts of um, HF operations as the yeah. Solar cycle is going to increase. A lot of a lot of eighty meter nets will have forty meter alternate frequencies, and sometimes if eighty dies, you can jump up to forty, and hopefully continue on. Uh, At the but very if least, it's, include your business. Yeah, yeah, uh, because if it's because if if eighty if eighty completely closes up, forty will probably go very short in in that same regard. So you can you right. can finish up what you're doing. Uh, yeah. But there too, it's uh, no guarantees, no yeah. guarantees when there's a, when there's a solar storm. Yeah, and just looking at some of the reports that we're seeing down here, it looks like even 20 mm -hmm. was affected by this last one. So oh, I sure. think there are some pretty serious storms here. I mean, I don't know if they quite hit X class, uh, but they were pretty potent. So definitely, um, um, I wouldn't start boxing everything up in a Faraday cage just yet. But you know, no. It was considered, I think the solar storm was considered a G3, okay. which is medium or moderate level. 
So. It's got a little punch to it. It's going yeah. to want to get some good uh, roar out of it. Um, and, you know, that's the one nice thing about amateur radio is if mm -hmm. HF goes dead because of a solar storm, get on six and two meters and work some Aurora. There you go. <laughs> it looks like the one that hit a couple of days ago was an M M1.7. Okay. Well, that's getting up there. That's getting up there. M is just a step below it. Nothing to sneeze at. No, no, no. No, not at all. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.